I'm going to show you how to make kombucha tea. You need to start out with some distilled water and I'm just going to make one batch and one batch calls for three quarts of distilled water. So I'm just going to measure it out here and put it in my pot. And then I'm going to turn my burner on high and bring this water to a boil. My water has come to a boil, so what I'm going to do now is add one to one and a half cups of sugar. Okay. And then you just get a spoon and stir it a little bit. And then we're going to let this boil for five minutes. And I'm going to turn down my heat a little bit just so it doesn't boil over. And I'm going to put the timer on. While my water is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and get my tea bags ready. I just have regular tea bags. And you need four to five tea bags. So I'll just do four. Get them ready. My family has been drinking kombucha tea for about eight years now. So instead of drinking soft drinks or sweet tea, we'll just drink kombucha tea. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to tie the tea bags together. That'll make it easier when we fetch them out of the tea. The sugar water has been boiling for five minutes, and what we're going to do now is add the tea to it. And I'm going to turn off the burner, and I'm going to let the tea steep for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put a fan on the tea and I'm going to let it sit for 20 more minutes and make sure that you still have it covered while this fan is on it. I just turned the fan off and it's been 20 minutes. I'm just going to put that down and then I'm going to grab a cookie jar and this is just a one gallon cookie jar that we bought. You need to make sure that you use clear glass just like this. You don't need to have smoky glass or colored glass. So I'm going to go ahead and pour up the tea. And I just get it out with a fork, usually the tea bags. Just put them right there. And then I'm just going to pour the tea in the cookie jar. So it made a little bit of a mess. And then I'm going to cover it. And then I'm going to put the fan back on it and it needs to cool till it gets to be about 90 degrees and that's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours. It's been about two hours and I turned off the fans and I'm going to check my, the temperature of the tea and it's about 90 degrees and that's where it needs to be. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a kombucha mushroom that I've had in the refrigerator in the tea. This is kind of what they look like. Okay. And then I'm going to pour this tea in here, which is the starter tea. You need at least six ounces, and this is about six ounces. I'm going to pour that in there like that. Okay. And now I'm going to cover it with a white cloth if you don't have a white cloth, you can go to Walmart or a fabric store and get them to cut you a piece of 100% cotton cloth. And then I'm going to go put this somewhere just in a quiet place, away from the trash can, away from the kitchen, and we're going to let it set for seven days. It's been seven days since we made our tea. And for the last seven days, I've had the tea in a quiet room, but today I brought it down to the kitchen and I'm going to uncover it. And then I'm going to reach inside and I'm going to separate the mushrooms because what's happened this past week, you have what's called the mother mushroom. And that would be this one here, but it, oh, it made this mushroom. We call that the baby. So you separate them, they stick together. And then I'm going to get it 
and I'm going to put it over here in a jar where I have actually some more mushrooms. Just going to put them in here. And you can see I've got some kombucha tea covering these mushrooms. So now you can store these mushrooms in the refrigerator for several days as long as you keep them covered with kombucha tea until you're ready to make some more kombucha tea. And this tea is ready to drink. You can pour it up in a pitcher or you can leave it in this container. Just remember it's important to store your kombucha tea and to drink your kombucha tea from a clear glass container. Don't put it in plastic or colored glass or metal or ceramic. Always keep it in a clear glass container. I hope you enjoy your tea.